championship number three. And coming out first to the ring is the American freestyle wrestler, Mark Kerr, 28-year-old from Toledo, Ohio, who has been remarkably impressive in his two previous bouts, winning both of them very handily, showing a great ability to strike both with the knee and with the hand. And of course, the hometown favorite, Fabio Grizzol. He's coming Scuffy. into the ring. He has won two bouts, one controversial, but the second one, he pummeled Michael Pachorek into submission, made him tap. So we have an unbelievable final set up, Greg Friedman. Yeah, we really do here. These fighters are unbelievable. Neither one of them really got hurt in their fights earlier. They both look fresh and ready to go. This is going to be a great fight. See a little blood coming from Mark Kerr's hand, but uh, he's, he's a real tough guy. It's going to take a lot more than that to stop him. Mark Kerr did something very, very intelligent. He took his shoes off. Ah, uh, interesting. Knowing interesting. that uh, he could use the kick because in the first bout, remember, he was reprimanded for that, for kicking illegally. So he takes the shoes off, wraps the ankle, he's ready to go. That wrapped ankle, though, is a grip, possibly, for Fabio. Mark Kerr with an interesting little front kick there. We didn't, no one knew that he would have that in his arsenal. They'd think that he would just be a wrestler and stick with that, being the great wrestler of American freestyle that he is. He will not spend very much time, though, up on his feet. You know he's going to shoot for Fabio's legs to try and take him down. Well, Fabio, I think maybe it'll be interesting who decides to take the first shoot. They both like are, are better fighters on the ground, but it's that initial strike that can, can hurt you very badly if you don't do kick. it right. Heel kick can be effective if you get in the right spot. Right on the knee. There Joe using a front side kick to the front leg of Kerr. Trying to, basically what that does is stop him in his, stop him right in the steps. You're not coming in on me because you'll catch that leg and it'll send you backwards. It just keeps you off. You see how he can just keep him off with that. That leg's actually starting to get red, that thigh, where he keeps taking that front kick. It's a good setup for a jiu-jitsu man. That's what they like to use. It's that front kick. They set you up, let you, let you try to go down to block it, and there comes Kerr. There's Joe. Kerr's got it his way right and down now, to baby. the ground they go. Grigio getting the better strikes as they as they go in, but but now Kerr where he wants to be. Grigio, a good fighter from the bottom, pounding the ears of Kerr. This is something Mark Kerr has not experienced before, taking shots, but now he tries one of his own. Fabio is a master at this technique. Kerr yeah. is cut. He is bleeding on the cheek of Fabio. He yeah. is cut. It'll be interesting to see how long uh, Kerr can take that punishment being down on the bottom where Fabio likes to strike from there. He works those ears, works the side, and actually Fabio back in the corner. Oh, Kerr, the smart thing, pulling him back into the arena. The See, one that's thing what, Michael Pachard could not do. Exactly. You want to get him back out there. If he gets back in the corner where he feels comfortable, he's there getting advice from his cornerman. Fabio getting the better strikes. But Kerr, very strong. Boy, he is just overpowering him with his strength. Trying to cross over, but he's got him in a half guard. Yeah, he'll could try and control the fight from there. He's in a better position here. He, he's not susceptible to the punches. Right where Kerr wants to be. He'll bring his fighter back to the middle of the ring. Try to get out oh, of that one. He work. tried to elbow, but oh. he didn't quite pull it off. Right hand to the face. Missing. Gergeau doing amazingly well. Able to, able to sustain and keep Kerr at this point. A blood coming from the knuckle of Kerr, sustained in the last fight, so his face remains unmarked. Gergeau very comfortable on the ground. He'll let Kerr come to him, and up comes Gergeau. They'll start it again. Kerr looking at his hand, up to boxing position. Gergeau looks like the better puncher of the two thus far. He sure does. Takes Good a striker lock. with the leg, he did it again. He's hit Mark Kerr with that front kick about eight times already. Kerr stalking, Grigio, nice side kick, yep. actually a round kick to the back of the leg. He's made Kerr a little bit conservative. Kerr stepping back a little bit, not as anxious as he once was, throwing a nice kick of his own to the back leg. Unexpected, but very good. Little chess game going on. Kerr Grigio trying goes, with a one leg takeout, he's the got punches. him now. 
But I'll tell you what, Fabio, lightning Fabio quick. Fabio is in for the, is fighting the fight of his life. Kirk, Kirk just to overpower him. in, trying to get those shots in. Oh, a nice punch by Gergeau to the face. Kerr trying to outmuscle him. Kerr got him in a, looks like he's trying to choke him out. Yeah, he'll try from down there. He is incredibly strong. But, but Gergeau clearly putting on a great show here tonight, showing the expertise of the jiu-jitsu man, able on the ground, both on the ground and standing, able to do what he needs to do, pulling Kerr tight has not taken the blows that other fighters have taken from Kerr while they're down on the ground. Oh, good right hand to the rib, actually under the arm, by Mark Kerr. Boy, I'll tell you, that's a smart thing for Fabio to do. He's getting his oh. distance. He does a, a heel kick to the jaw, a but it just missed. beautiful kick by Gergeau, using, his le using everything he's got here, and he's going to need it, and he's doing a great job. Kerr has broken open a cut on the forehead of Fabio, but Fabio is so skilled at holding those arms. He's taking right Kurt to the head. not able to get off the punches that he wants Kurt to. trying to headbutt. Oh, oh a beautiful headbutt, headbutt in, the mouth. in the face of Gergeau. May have lost a tooth even on that one. Gergeau was talking to Battarelli. Kerr said, uh oh, no holes barred. Boom, with the headbutt in the face. Another one to the jaw. Gergeau and doing the, the best he can, keeping that hand in front of his face. Mark Kerr just so strong. He can't get out of this big guy's grasp. He can't do a whole lot with him. He's trying to survive, ladies and gentlemen. Fabio Gergeau. What a trooper. Just a great fight. Being able to control Kerr. He's still controlling the fight here. He Outweighed really is. by 70 pounds. The fans start to chant Brazil. Kerr clearly out of his realm here, but putting on a tremendous fight. This is just the fight that we thought it would be. This is what everybody expected. Kerr tried another one. He's pounding him with rights, but just missed Kerr Gergeau using everything he can to get him off, and he's able to get him off. Wow. And Gergeau stepping up, saying, I'm a better, better stand-up fighter. Kerr actually looking away for a minute. Mark Kerr looking at his right hand. Second time he's done that. you got to wonder if he has injured it more severely than just that cut. Tries I a round kick. Oh, the Gergeau takes double back leg takedown. By Kerr actually back down on the ground. Taking a breather. They're both in a little breathing mode here. Yeah, Kerr has him where he wants him, though. Actually, no. Fabio likes this. This is where Fabio can get some punching room. Kerr needs to be higher up. He needs to get out of that guard. Fabio's controlling the hip of Kerr and will keep him low. He's even resting that. You see how he rests yep. that foot? Not a whole lot's going on there. He's just resting, taking his time. Kerr just trying to free that foot, but he can't. Kerr is opening himself up to a strong kick by Gergeau. He's holding those hands down. Gergeau will kick him right in the face. We've seen Americans open themselves oh, up to that before. Oh, great move by Kerr. Kerr he crosses just, over. He's got a cross mount. This is where he wants to be. He likes this side mount position. He could do some damage here. This is a great opportunity if he can get that hand underneath to choke him out, but he can't quite get it there right now. Or he'll look for an arm lock, but again, Fabio, very smart fighter. Oh, the reverse Trying mount. to turn over Kerr, holding him on a leg. This is he, he likes this position, does Fabio. Yeah, it looks like Kerr, although both exactly, amazingly well, like you take a shot to the ribs or something. And amazingly well-conditioned athletes. Oh, tough elbows um, to the back. Amazing strikes by Kerr to the back, but Gergeau, but Gergeau, too tough. He's been here before. you got to wonder if Mark Kerr has ever met anybody this tough in his life. And the endurance. When does the endurance come into factor here? Both fighters are tired. Mark Kerr working his way down the net. He's looking for the triangle choke. He'll, he'll try and stretch that arm out. Kerr able to pull out of it. No way he's going to triangle choke him. He's got immense neck strength. There's no way he can do it. He's getting a beating Kerr right punishing. now. The, outside of the ring. Kerr striking Gergeau oh, with the head, with the arm. Gergeau cannot swing because Kerr's using the rope to block the blows. Fabio working clearly great from his back, almost able to stretch that arm out. That was the move he was looking for. Kerr almost made his mistake, and Fabio almost finished it. Any slightly lesser man would have not been able to pull that arm out. Nasty gash on the forehead of Fabio. The fans are cheering their warrior on, but yeah. he's still on the bottom, still taking most of the punishment. But I'll tell you what, he's a phenomenal athlete. He takes a right. 
Bobby actually resting right now. Yeah. Just controlling the arms and the head of Kerr. Kerr able to rest a little bit too, lying on top. They're both thinking, who will attack? The, the, the fans are clearly all aware of what's going on here. This is a big jujitsu jitsu oh, great town. Great forehead butt there. Great head butt. Kerr just a little bitty shot and to the jaw that gets the crowd excited. But Kerr, a very strong, heavy guy. Oh, yeah. You got to hit him a lot. You got to hit him a lot. But he threw people around in practice sessions here like, you know, paper dolls. It's yeah, amazing. he really has. Trying to get Wait. some punching room. Here's Joe Bin there. He gets off a quick shot. Oh, and a, a headbutt head butt. by Kerr. Here's Joe pulls him tight, holds one hand in front of the face to protect his face. So it's, it's a little cushion, if you will. I don't think. You can see the bloody, swollen hands of Mark Kerr very possibly broken from that shot there. Fabio just resting as you pointed out earlier. A great defensive fighter and clearly the quicker of the two. As Mark Kerr pulls up, Fabio's able to get in there and stop it. He's going to try and take some strikes here to the ear of Kerr. He's going to try and kick Kerr. He's going to try. He, see, Kerr, if he leaves that arm behind, that's just what, what uh, Fabio can, w is waiting for and will need to stop Does Mark he have Kerr. the strength? To throw an arm bar on Mark Kerr. Well, he's going to need both legs and that arm, which is what was oh, what you do left for trying to head. choke. I'm sorry to interrupt. Great left on the side of the head that time by Kerr. Right above the eye. By a battle of attrition, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, these are world-class athletes right here, and they're proving it. Kerr trying to work him back out into the ring. Where he can work a little bit. He, he's... He doesn't want to roll out and have to restart. He's comfortable right here. Fabio breathing very heavily right now. Yeah, both of them really exhausted. Another headbutt. Boy, those are just wear on you. Fabio feeling those, trying to ward those off now. Yeah, Fabio clearly, he's controlling the fight. He's controlling what he wants to do. Mark able to get off some punches, punching with the side of his hand now. That hand, I believe those knuckles are broken. Kerr using the right side of his hands. Now he'll try some lefts. See what that hand does for him. Oh, he's got him twisted around like a pretzel here. Yeah, Gerjo trying to uh, trying to get him off of him, but Kerr just staying tight. He's just so strong. Both of these fighters, again, this fight, this is the best fight of these guys' lives. Fabio has never fought anyone like Mark Kerr in jiu-jitsu, and Mark Kerr has never fought anybody this quick this skilled in jiu-jitsu as Fabio Gergio. Mark, Mark Kerr's hand, I, I would venture to say, is broke because... They're a little tied he, up on that rope there. Yeah, but Mark, he is hitting him with the outside of his hand. Kerr pulling him back in the ring. Doesn't want to get caught up in those ropes. The chant, Fabio. The chant, Fabio, Fabio. There as they go. As a freestyle wrestler, Mark Kerr is not used to doing more than a five-minute match, so he's well past that already. you got to wonder how long he can hold up under this, under this type of system. Yeah, truly an amazing athlete. Truly an amazing athlete. These jiu-jitsu fighters train for hours on end. Fabio having schools. Oh, oh, Mark Kerr throwing those rights. You can see those swollen knuckles. Yeah, yeah that hand is it, it could very poss possibly broken. But still, wanting this championship, knows what it means in his first fight to become the championship of a World Valley Tudo Championships. Oh, he has just thrown some devastating headbutts all night long. See, this is what people were, were, were unsure of with the American wrestlers. Were they able to put it all together? Were they able to, to punch and strike and use headbutts? And Mark Kerr definitely has it all. Richard Hamilton told us this is the best. This is the best of the best. And he's been with, he's trained some great, great wrestlers, fighters, all around people. And headbutts two in a row as Fabio, then he takes the left. A left strike from Kerr, the left hand right to the jaw, just missed that one. You can't quite tell, there's a, there's a cut over the, on the forehead of Gurjo. Other than that, I, I see some blood on the ear, don't know if that's from, uh, from Kerr's face or, his, or, or Gurjo's own head. No, that's coming out of his ear. His ear is, is, is bleeding pretty bad. Um, also, his right eye is starting to swell badly too. He has a huge knot on the right eye. Kerr gets booted off, but he goes back. He, he's... Much, he's an incredibly quick 260 Unbelievable. pounder. Unbelievable. 
Here's Joe looking for those quick strikes. Clearly the quicker of the two. Yes. But but Kerr just relentless, just staying tight, understanding that. I think he understands what type of fighter Joe is and knows what he needs to do here. Is he going to be able to do it? That'll be the thing. Fans are really crowding around this ring, so our vantage point is hindered at best. It's tough to see what's going on, although there goes Mark Kerr, still on top. In the guard, now the guard's broken. Trying to get up high. He's trying to get up high, he's gonna go for that arm bar. He's looking for that triangle choke. Fabio, he's way high. He's Fabio looking for a lock here. He's looking for the arm bar, he's looking. If Kerr does if he leaves that elbow behind and Gurjot's able to push him away. He is, he's going for the arm bar. Kerr trying to pull out of it. Kerr just so strong. Gurjo. Boy, it's an unbelievable fight. Kerr, glancing blow off the top of the head, didn't hurt him at all. The fans are on their feet here. Kerr is so strong, he continues to pull. Every time Fabio gets under the ropes, he pulls him back, gives him some striker, and both men exhausted. Yeah, both men taking some serious punishment here. Fabio, more experienced in this type of fight, but he's fighting the much stronger man. It's, it's just such a well-even match fight. It's too close to call. Who will give? Who will give? Yeah, who I, will give out? I'll yeah. tell you, it's, look at Kerr. It's like he's almost going to sleep on his chest. They both know exactly the game plan. They're both very comfortable right there. We take a break. One comes up. I defend. You attack. You I defend. You attack. Same thing. It's an absolute chess match. A nice left by Bergeau. Kerr counters with the right, comes up, and some, throws some devastating punches. Are any of them landing? Hard to tell. Couple got in. Couple got in, but he showed actually very good defense. He didn't take the full force of those strikes to the head. Boy, that right eye, make that the left eye of Fabio Gujo is starting to close. Yeah, we haven't seen Mark Kerr's face in a while. He's keeping it buried. He knows to keep that face down. Oh, oh man, right on that eye. You could hear that. Yeah. That was head to face. Mark Kerr's head on Fabio Gujo's oh, face. Oh, another devastating blow. Another one. He is just pummeling his head with blows. Headbutt. Looking him straight in the eyes, and here I come. And his right hand. And Sit down. Now taking a little bit of a break crowd right in front of us hard to see the action boy another cut under the left eye of Fabio Gujo it's bleeding Mark Kerr another headbutt into the jaw area of Fabio Gujo how much more can this man take blood everywhere Sergio watching it very closely he's saying I've but had enough of those headbutts I'm going to the doctor's in there keeping a close look at Gujo as well as he should because he is busted up badly around the eyes and the forehead. But Gujo, the heart of a champion, just won't give up. He actually oh. looks very comfortable. Oh, big right hand by Mark Kerr. He looks bloody, but he's very comfortable. He looks very strong. He looks confident. He's still controlled. He's still keeping Mark Kerr as close as he can. The only thing that, that he's not used to is those headbutts that keep coming from Kerr. If that eye closes, oh, there's a huge headbutt. Yeah. That was on the jaw. He's yeah. starting to break the face. The of, face is really getting busted up. Mark Kerr is one tough cookie, ladies and gentlemen. And Fabio Gujo is unbelievable. Fabio, though, again, waiting patiently, waiting for Kerr to make a mistake, knowing he's the smaller, probably more well-conditioned, you would think, of the two athletes being lighter, uh, waiting for Kerr to make a mistake, leave an arm behind. And he'll choke, and he'll uh, finish him with an arm bar, or hopefully roll him for a choke. But Kerr just keeps coming on with headbutts. Oh, Fabio tried to defend against that. He did the second one, but the first one got in. Boy, fans are standing up all around. Very hard to see the action. There's a right hand, though. A couple of rights to the body to loosen that arm up. So. He'll have to defend, obviously, and then Mark wants to go back to that headbutt, which he's used so effectively. A good 20 minutes into the fight, and these guys are absolutely 
just still going on. Just very strong. They'll rest now and then. But these guys are such well-conditioned athletes. Again, oh. Kerr setting up for the headbutt. Kerr's falling in love with that maneuver. Now he pulls him back out. Wards off a Fabio left hand. looking for that arm bar. Looking for that arm bar. Trying to hold those arms tight. Coming to the left by Fabio. Fabio, some strong left hands to the head of Kerr. Kerr trying to rest a little bit. And he's trying to get Fabio back out. Fabio's incredibly intelligent as he snakes his way back under the rope to try and get out of Kerr's grasp. They're almost out of the... Now they turned it back around and getting back into the ring. Mark Kerr doing his best to keep Fabio inside of the rope. Peugeot's left eye is all but closed now. And they're just resting. They're taking a break. They've been going at it for over 20 minutes. Unbelievable action. Yeah, it really is. These guys both are getting to know each other real well here. Mark real Kerr well. trying to scoot him back out towards the floor to the middle of the ring. Fabio's actually got Kerr in the best position that he could hope for. This is his best position where he's got him in the guard. He's controlling his head movement. But Kerr just so strong, able to pull out of it when he needs to. Kerr just throwing right. Fabio coming back with a couple of blows of his own. Kerr with yep. another headbutt. The face of Gergeau just swollen, just completely filling up with blood. Both ears, his forehead, devastating blows from all around. Kerr just just hammering on him. But He's going to wonder what what alley that truck came out of that hit him. Yeah, but again, the, the from where Fabio Gergeau comes from, you just don't give up. He's just fighting till the end. He is an amazing competitor, an well, amazing competitor. If Mark Kerr's hand is broken, he has shown incredible courage himself and another headbutt. Although I think a pretty good defense that time by Fabio. Yeah, Fabio came off a, a disappointing draw with, with Jerry Bolander. Really wanted to prove himself. That fight was supposed to happen here. Bolander, I'm not sure for what reason, but but uh, but backed out of the fight. And uh, and Gujo decided, hey, I'll take I'll take the tournament. And he's done an amazing job here. Well, Kerr just moments ago looked over towards his corner and stuck his tongue out. <laughs> so he still has a sense of humor, but I don't know how. It's all in the heart. It's all in the heart right now, putting everything he has into it. Now you have two world-class athletes in their, their chosen craft, and you, you're seeing a tremendous battle of attrition, a tremendous battle of courage. Yeah, we were asked so many times earlier, what's the best art? What do we feel? What have we seen that really impresses us? And again, we said jiu-jitsu, freestyle wrestlers from jiu-jitsu from Brazil, freestyle wrestlers from America, and again, back to Brazil with, with the Huas Valley Tudo system, which combines all of them, and really, that's what we're seeing here. These guys are throwing it from every angle. This is how Marco Huas teaches his students. You've got to be able to survive every situation, kick, punch, and we haven't seen any choking yet, but phenomenal ground skills by both fighters. Saw earlier, but he couldn't quite do it because of the strength of Mark Kerr. Fabio tried an arm bar a little earlier, but Kerr easily got out of that. Fabio trying to get some advice from his corner. What do I do with this monster is what he's probably saying. How do you stop this guy? He just keeps coming. He yeah. won't leave an arm. He won't give me an opportunity. He's just so strong. But Fabio, the patient man that he is, waiting, waiting. And how long can Kerr go? That's what he's thinking right now. Well, the advice from his corner, he must have about 200 cornermen here right now. Yeah, he's got a lot. You know, of we originally had, what, two men in a corner? <laughs> there must be oh, 150 people out in front of us here. <laughs> <laughs> Look yeah, at that eye. That is, see, that is close. Yeah, he's uh, he's taken some serious punishment from a broken right hand of Mark Kerr. I'm I, I'm I'm willing to bet, but uh, but just won't give up. And we've seen in these situations, rarely from these types of fighters, but people just give up. Kerr would either just saying I give up or Fabio saying I give up. I don't I, I don't know. These guys just don't have it in their in their heart in their mind. He's almost got him stretched out. He's looking for a double arm bar. If he can get those arms around his Oh, Gergeau was trying to get those legs around his neck, the neck of Kerr, if he was able to do that. But, uh, but Kerr, sweaty and strong, able to pull out lefts, punishing open hands, lefts, rights to the face of Gergeau. Boy, unbelievable barrage by Mark Kerr, but Fabio Gergeau has weathered that storm. Amazing punishment he took there. Amazing. 
but he's got his same composure. Still very calm and collective. Everybody, all the fighters in the tournament are out here watching this fight. They can hear it from the, from the exercise room. These men have been in this very position now for 20, 25 minutes. Yeah, we're a good. We just got the call. It's 24 minutes into the match. This is a 30 minute bout. If, if Sergio Bottarelli feels it's too close to call, he will, he will uh, let them go another 10 minutes, which very possibly right now, it's a very tough fight to call. Right now, you're looking at the bloodier Grigio, but this is the G Brazilian style of fighting. They like to wait you out. In fact, a lot of the Brazilian fighters have been backing out of Valley Tudor tournaments because they have time limits on them. They don't want time limits. They say the longer we go, the better chance we have for a victory. Because people make mistakes, and a great jiu-jitsu man seldom does. And as you're seeing that here, he's doing everything he can to fend off Kerr, but he's just so strong. It's amazing. I'll tell you, his he yeah. put up an incredible defensive battle. You know, when Kerr will strike two or three times, and all of a sudden he starts warding off the blows very effectively. Yeah, Gujo has done nothing wrong. He's fighting an absolute brilliant fight, but Kerr is just so strong. What can I do? What can I do? He's tried several times for those arm bars, and uh, there was once or twice where he almost was able to sink it in. And the longer we get into the match, the more tired Kerr gets, and will be unable possibly at one time to pull it out. That's what Gajot's betting on. He's famous for that triangle choke. That would be getting both legs around the neck, tightening them up, and keeping that one arm extended, or basically squeezed in and he'll stretch out that arm. And basically, you have to tap out or yeah. they'll break your arm. Does he have the strength to do that at this D point? Well, you know, that's, that's the question. That's the question. And as we saw earlier, Kerr, who, who curls 315 pounds, he could, he could theoretically lift Grigio off the ground and curl him. So, but does he have the strength? 25 and a half minutes into the fight. Yeah. They continue to pretty much take a break at this point. They're trying to get their energy for another onslaught. It's all about heart right now. It's all about heart and pride. Kerr oh boy, trying to take both it home. Of them are loaded with it. Yeah, these, they really are. Kerr trying to take the championship home to America. Uh, and Fabio trying to keep it here in Brazil. Truly a lot of pride here. This is a stalemate at this point right now. Yeah, it really is. They're both where the, as much as they want to be. Fabio actually probably more where he wants to be. Kerr would like to be a little bit higher up where he could extend some of those blows. See, because he's leaving that arm. That arm gets a little bit stretched out. Fabio's waiting to kick him away. See how he keeps that one foot dug into the hip, and then he gets up high. Gets high. Keep him off. Keep him off. He'll try and put the put the hip, put the foot on the hip, push him away, and then get the high guard. He'll get that high up above the waist of Kerr and try and keep him down low where he can strike. But when Kerr's up high like this, it's hard for Grigio to do anything. Kerr looking over to his corner. Little help, throws a little bitty short chopping left. Both men are truly exhausted. Yeah, they, re they really are. Grigio trying to roll up and over. If he could, oh, he's, he's got those legs locked in around. He's got one on each side of him. He could try, he's trying, but Mark Kerr is just so strong. Where did he get the strength to even do that. He's, a, he's an amazing athlete. He really is. We're talking to Joe here. Yes. Well, Kerr's first venture into World Valley Tudo wrestling, I should say wrestling, how about fighting? Because he is an American freestyle wrestler has been unbelievable. I'm sure he's going to go back shaking his head going, wow. Yes, yes. Definitely a lot more than he expected. Both fighters were very confident coming in, and uh, they're showing it here. They're showing it here, just not willing to give up. Boy, look at the right hand, Mark Kerr. It is puffy, bleeding. Yeah, he's definitely broken some knuckles, possibly the whole hand there. But you'll, you'll notice he still even throws it once in a while, just to let your Joe know that, hey, I can take anything. I'm here. I'm here to fight, and, and don't forget about that. 
because what will happen is Grigio will start, oh, that hand's broken. He's not throwing that anymore. He looks for the weakness of Kerr. We haven't seen any yet, but uh, that's what Grigio will be looking for. Look at the leverage Kerr is getting with his leg so to prevent Fabio from coming over. From yeah, that, over. that's the wrestling. That's yep. the wrestling that he knows. Grigio using the jiu-jitsu that he knows, trying to roll up and out of it. And then he'll try and go for the mount or possibly even a reverse choke. But again, Kerr just so tough. The fans on their feet going, Fabio, Fabio. Wow, what a fight. Sergio Battarelli, along with the doctors, watching this fight very closely. Not wanting anybody to get hurt, but you just can't stop it. These guys are just warriors. Wow, this is unbelievable. Grigio getting the arm into the throat of Kerr, trying to push him off. Coming in here, Kerr, 260 pounds with 8% body fat. That's less tonight after this endeavor. Fabio still trying to roll over. He can't quite do it. I know, I'm pretty sure he's convinced that he can't. That's the time limit. That's the 30 minute time limit. We'll see what Bottarelli decides to do. I believe they're gonna go for a 10 minute extension here. Fabio's left eye is completely closed. They're cleaning up their fighters, the Gougeot people. Richard Hamilton's people do be doing the same thing. Everybody on their feet. I'd like to take a look at Mark Curl. There are so many people in front of us. It'd be interesting to see if he's doing anything with his right hand. Fabio's left eye again, just a slit. He's being attended to, getting some ice, getting some treatment. While we look at Fabio Grigio, Sergio Battarelli, Talking with Richard Hamilton. Both re getting ready for the second round. That was the first round of the fight. Look at that eye. Wow. That's, that, that is close. Yeah. That is, uh, that's a nasty, nasty wound. Wow. I'm almost, I'll tell you what. It's very, very hot, very humid in here. And we have seen two guys. I don't know how they've been able to continue to go for 30 solid minutes. Incredible. Absolutely unbelievable. I probably said incredible about 20 times, but that's probably <laughs> the best word to describe what I've seen it, here tonight. It really is an amazing event. It really is an amazing. This fight is what a championship fight should be all about. So Sergio Battarelli. They're trying to get all everybody away from the ring so they can get this thing restarted. Wow, the Fabio Gujo camp, many of his his supporters mm. standing up on the ring apron. A lot of fans of Gujo here oh. tonight. They all want to be a part of it to support their fighter. It's just such a tough fight. Sure is. I'll tell you what, he is one tough cookie. He is. There we go. It's over. It's over. They're going to a decision, I believe, Greg. They're checking the eye of Fabio to see if he can go on. I saw Mark Kerr shake hands with uh, his cornerman. We're waiting for the decision. I'll be surprised if this goes on, Greg. Yeah, it was truly an amazing fight by both fighters. They did an amazing job. Body, Fabio's ready to go. His face is totally puffed up. He can't see out of that left eye. But the word that he is, he's ready to continue. But it looks like they're stopping it. We're still a little bit unsure of what's going on here right now. We're looking for the decision. <laughs> Mark 
Mark Kerr gets the decision. Well, he gets, and he really did deserve it. Oh, That's actually, the they're going vote. to the judges. One of the Sorry. Mark Kerr. Mark Kerr gets another vote. And it's a decision. And it should have been. And it should have been. A great fight. A great warrior. Faber Gergeau, the heart of a true champion. I can tell you now that this will be a rematch that everybody would like to see. And me, I will try and put this one together because I know fight fans around the world are going to want to see a rematch here. Fabio fought with his heart and soul. Truly a champion. And really put on a phenomenal fight. He really did. Um, well, it's a tough call. You have to be incredibly impressed, though, by the... Well, let's listen to... Fabio Gergeau addressing the crowd. <laughs> Thanking everybody for the event here tonight. Congratulating Mark Kerr. A true champion. A true champion addressing the crowd. He has all his fans here saying, hey, I did the best I can. Thanks for your support. And I'll be back. Fans almost in tears for their champion. They well, love this guy here. Well, if you can equate here. this to something, it's like that first time, you know you have a mystique, it's that first time like Muhammad Ali was defeated. Fans were stunned, fans were shocked. What happened here tonight, you saw two true warriors. Yeah, Mark Kerr's face actually looks fine. He looked that way when he came here. Actually, when I saw him first, I thought he had a broken nose and swollen face, but that's just he trained so hard that he was able to absorb. He's just such a big, strong guy that everything Fabio was able to what tried to give out, he could endure. Whether it be punches, kicks, uh, as we look at the as we look at the replay, Kerr trying to get up high, trying to get out of the guard, but but Gergio trying to control him. Kerr able to pull those arms out pretty much when he needed to, just pushing his arm and his face, trying to actually suffocate. This is a, you can stop your opponent from breathing. There's no rule against that. Keep it right in his face. And Mark Cole just squeezes your face. I mean, this guy is such a strong guy. There was guys training with him all day that just said, oh, my God, this is the guy to beat. Even though he had no experience, he came in here, showed that he is a true champion and someone to be reckoned with, and the Americans have learned what No Hold Bar is all about, and Mark Kerr is the representative of that. I think in future bouts for this young man, because he has a very, very bright future, I think in future bouts he's going to work on some submission holds, things of that nature, because he's such a good wrestler. He gets great position. He's so quick and so big that he's able to do something, many of those things, and he'll get those skills. Federico Lapenda now giving the belt to Mark Kerr, addressing the on, saying thank you. People of Brazil have been good to him. He's happy, even though during that match it didn't feel like it. Uh, he took home the championship belt of the World Valley Tudo Championships, number three, and the check for $20,000 plus. Let's not, let's not kid ourselves. All these guys get an appearance fee just for showing up. This is just a little bonus check for Mark Kerr. Uh, he's happy to take that check home and the belt, and he'll wear it with pride. Well, I hope before he gets out of here we can get a second with him, and uh, we'll just have, we'll see. But uh, Mark Kerr, first ever World Ballet Tudo Tournament. He comes out the big winner, a winner of Valley Tudo, World Valley Tudo Championship number three, and he is truly a champion. Yeah, he really is. 